The bed. It's the most neglected piece of furniture in the household. It's not something your friends will really ever see. They won't appreciate your bed like they would other pieces of furniture in your home. At the end of the day, it's mostly just something you're asleep in. It's a well-known fact that you will spend about a third of your entire life sleeping, which means that a 75-year-old person would have already spent around 25 of those years asleep. Also, sleeping on a worn-out bed or one that doesn't suit your needs can easily cause negative side effects on your health, such as back pain from lack of support, lung and throat irritation due to excessive dust mites, and of course, lack of sleep which in turn can affect your quality of aging, strength of immune system, as well as sharpness of focus. Since a bed is something which will have such a significant impact on your life for such a great period of time, would it not be wise for your bed to actually be an exceptional piece of furniture? Well, this starts off by asking the right question, such as, what is the function of the bed you're looking for? Who is the bed for? What are the preferences of the person who will sleep on the bed? And finally, what is your budget for a bed and what are you willing to save up for? These questions should determine your needs and desires. Once you've determined these needs, you will find the features required for the bed you're looking for, and thus the bed that will best serve you. Let's address some of those features. Size. The factors that need to be taken into consideration for size are who is it for? What type of luxury do they desire? And what is the intended purpose of the bed? If you're a married couple, you would, for instance, most likely prefer a queen or king-size bed, as opposed to a single person who only needs one of the smaller options. If the function of a bed is for a spare room, it would be great to have something that can work in multi-purpose situations. For instance, getting two single beds that can be put together or be separated depending on the guest's preference. Cloud9 beds also come in either standard or extra length. Firmness. Factors to consider regarding the firmness of a bed are age, weight and health. In order to experience the same level of firmness for two people of different weights, the lighter person needs a softer bed to allow some flexibility, whereas the heavier of the two needs a firmer bed to support the extra weight. An example of age preference is that elders usually tend towards a softer surface, such as memory foam, to cater for their frail bodies and for that little bit of added insulation instead of the bouncier, firmer latex surface that is more preferable among younger generations. Density. The factor regarding a bed's density is mainly weight. Density of a bed is very similar to firmness, the difference being that firmness relates to the actual stiffness of the foam, and density relates to the amount of foam used and how tightly packed it is. Other universal features that all Cloud9 beds have include they are all made up of multi-layered foam. They have no moving parts. And they are all designed to have zero movement transfer. You now have more insight as to which factors to take into consideration and what to ask the store representative for when looking to buy a new bed. So be sure to visit our Cloud9 Outlet Partner and have a look at the beds we have on offer or visit the websites listed. Cloud9 Beds for the rest of your life.